how the Working Well staff train. A little bit about us. I absolutely love an active lifestyle. If you've sat with me for more than two minutes, you'll quickly realize that I have to be on the move, which is why I switched my major in college from electrical engineering to exercise science. I still coach youth soccer and baseball and have engaged in sports like soccer, basketball, football, martial arts, swimming, skating, skiing, strongman, and many others. Above all things, even more than the sport itself sometimes, I love the lifting involved in the training. I'm at home when I'm pushing weight around. I have some of my best mental clarity when I'm getting myself pumped up for a big set and feel a sense of control over myself. It is that feeling that I chase after in the gym every single time I suit up and feel that this is the reason for any of the successes that I have had in my fitness endeavors. I grew up in a very active environment. I always had a home gym growing up and was interested in fitness from a very early age. In high school, I played football, basketball, and tennis. Preparing and training for football got me very interested in lifting weights. This led me to taking up natural bodybuilding in college. I entered a competition in New York City during my junior year in college and placed second in my division. After realizing I wanted to have more balance in my fitness routine, I started running, cycling, and taking a more functional approach to fitness. I've competed in 5K, 5 mile, 10K, and half marathon races, and I've had fun with it. My goal is to stay as healthy and active as I can. Growing up, I played all different sports, but ultimately fell in love with and earned my black belt in martial arts. Once I started high school, I ran cross country in the fall, wrestled in the winter, and ran distance events for track in the spring. My favorite of the three was definitely wrestling, and soon after my first season, I began wrestling year-round and stuck with it right through college. These days, I stay active by going hiking and running and doing some strength training. Just to keep things fun and interesting, I recently started snowboarding, which has proven to be a difficult but fun new hobby. I have had an active lifestyle for as long as I can remember. Growing up with two older brothers had me playing many sports and definitely brought out my competitive side. We were always outside playing some sort of game. In high school, I played basketball and volleyball, and I ultimately went on to play basketball in college. In order to play at the collegiate level, I needed to get stronger, quicker, and prevent injury. My strength and conditioning coaches pushed me to new heights day in and day out, and I fell in love with the training. It gave me so much confidence while playing and led to many of my successes. I switched my college major to exercise science and never looked back. My goal is to instill the confidence in others that I get through fitness and wellness and to always keep moving. I tried a little bit of everything growing up, but actually stuck with swimming, basketball, and track the longest. I threw discus and shot put for my high school track team, which was really fun, way better than running. I've played basketball since I can remember and kept it up in college by playing on intramural teams and still find leagues to play in now. I've branched out within the past few years and have gotten into climbing, snowboarding, and a little bit of yoga. Basically, I just try to keep myself active by doing what I love while learning new activities. A week in the life of Andrew. On Sunday, sports with kids, family time. I try to make the most of my day and pack things in tight. I start off with church every Sunday and then come home to get as much housework in as I can. I also coach youth sports and have that commitment throughout the week as well. On Monday, I'm currently doing a 12 10 8 6 rep progressive load routine. Monday is the start of the week with my chest. Compound movements first like bench press, followed up with more simple single joint patterns like flies. I will additionally hit the erg and will <clears throat> also work with elevation on the treadmill. Tuesday is my recovery day. Wednesday is a back day with the same focus as before in the chest workout. I will start off with standing rows, lat pull downs, pull ups, and then I will wrap up with single joint movements like pullovers. On Thursday, leg day, I'll also hit the erg, work on elevation treadmill training. I'll also focus on deadlifts, split squats, and then move towards any single joint movement pattern for the legs in a similar fashion as the upper body. On Friday is my arm workout and make up for missed movement patterns from the rest of the week. Um, I'll also incorporate jump rope. I will work a quick arm routine in, focusing on barbell work first, then moving on towards single arm work with the cable machines. I'll also hit anything that I missed during the week or felt that I did not hit hard enough. On Saturday, yard work, sports with the kids. This is also a recovery day at times for me, depending on what's going on. 
but I also love to get the home improvement projects in around the house, from cutting the grass to gardening and cutting down the occasional tree. A week in the life of Chris. Sunday, this is my longer run day. Right now, this could be anywhere from five to eight miles. When I get back, my, kin my kids will run around the block with me for my cool down. This is also a day of family time, so I will get out with the kids and play basketball, soccer, or take a walk with my wife around the neighborhood while my kids ride their bikes. Monday, lower body and core strength day. Currently, I have an elbow injury that is preventing me from lifting weights and doing exercises such as barbell front squats and deadlifts, so I'm using my own body weight and other equipment such as TRX suspension straps. Tuesday, this is a shorter run day three miles at a slow to moderate pace, followed with corrective exercise work, foam rolling, and a few yoga flow movements. Wednesday, another three mile run, but a race pace. I spend time after working on corrective exercises, foam rolling, and yoga movements. I also play golf in the Tufts Health Playing Golf League in the evenings. Thursday, right now, this is a recovery day for me. I normally would be doing an upper body strength workout, but I'm being very, very careful with my elbow. Friday, I teach running and recovery on this day. So I will take a group out in the morning and do a four to seven mile run and then come back into foam roll. Saturday, in the morning, I teach a spin class in my hometown. This is a great cross training workout for me and it's fun too. This is also a day of getting yard work done, playing active games and swimming with the kids. A week in the life of Amber. On Sundays, I try to do something outdoorsy when possible, such as hiking, biking, or running. If it is too cold or rainy out, I'll get on a piece of cardio equipment for 30 minutes or do a 30-minute cardio interval workout at home. I end that with a nice long 30 minutes of foam rolling and stretching. On Mondays, I go running outside, usually at an outdoor track if the weather cooperates, for somewhere between 3 and 4 miles and mix in some bleacher runs uh, to the mix after every half mile. Once I'm all done with that, it's on to a bodyweight and kettlebell full body strength circuit. On Tuesdays, I go with active recovery, hiking or walking around town, foam rolling and stretching. Wednesdays, more running, typically hills, whether it be on the treadmill or outside at a local park. From there, it is on to a full body circuit again. This time, I use a wider variety of exercise equipment, such as the BOSU ball, dumbbells, and medicine balls. Thursday is another active recovery day. Again, either hiking or a walk around town, just trying to beat my step goal for the day. This whole Fitbit thing is addictive. Fridays, Friday fun day, definitely a hodgepodge of different workouts. Sometimes I'll hit the heavy bag for a little while or work on some Olympic lifts. This is more of a CrossFit style workout for me, meaning that I'll set up a circuit that incorporates both cardiovascular and strength training exercises and see how many rounds I can make it through before the time is up. Saturdays are a rest day, I run some errands, the goal is to clean the house and get the grocery shopping done, and to hit my step goal. Stretch for about 15 minutes before bed. A week in the life of Andrea. The weekends are typically pretty busy for me, but I always try to get outside for at least 30 minutes to enjoy some free time. Some ways I stay active on the weekend are getting outside for a walk, run or hike, taking a spin class, or coaching basketball practice. On Monday, I'm in early to train clients, so I get my workout in right after. I typically do an upper or lower body split on Mondays and Wednesdays. I've been trying to increase my endurance, so I've been in the higher rep range with lower weights. I will include cardio unless I'm teaching spin, which I will then get my cardio in later in the afternoon. On Tuesdays, I like to get some cardio in before I'm in at work at noon. If it's a nice day, I'm out for a run. And if not, I book a class in the morning to get a good sweat in before work. Wednesday is the same schedule as Monday. I'm in early to train, and then I work out right afterward. Whichever split I didn't do on Monday comes on Wednesday. I also like to include some sprint intervals on the treadmill or outside. I play on a rec softball team, and the games usually fall on Wednesdays. It's the perfect way to get outside and be active with my friends. Thursday is a rest day for me. I'm always sore from the previous workouts, so I stretch and foam roll throughout the day. Friday, I like to get a full workout in with lifting and cardio before heading into work. If I feel a specific area needs some work, I'll focus on that. I also like to try some new things on Fridays, whether it be a new exercise or throwing a twist on a movement I already know. 
This keeps things interesting and challenging, and I love introducing the new exercises to members. Saturday and Sunday are usually pretty similar. I need one of the days to get ready for the week ahead, and there always seems to be something going on. Just like Sunday, I try to find ways to be active and enjoy some free time. A week in the life of Kate. Sunday. My weekends look different every week, but typically Sundays are either a complete rest day or an active recovery day. By active recovery, I mean I'll either go on a light hike or a short run just to get outdoors. But other times, I'll just relax and meal prep. Monday. I work out in the morning, and it's usually a heavier lifting day combined with sprinting at the end. Sometimes. Depending what I did over the weekend, it's either lower or upper body focused. I've really been into 4x12 set rep schemes lately with a 30 to 45 second break to switch it up. Always making sure to take it slow with lots of focus on form and really feeling the movement. Typically I only use a few different movements in my workouts. Tuesday, basketball day. I'm playing in the Tufts Health Plan Rec League and it is a lot of fun and I get in a great cardio workout. Running for almost an hour straight definitely keeps me in pretty decent short burst running shape. If we have a bye, I would do more of a metabolic type lifting workout, keeping the weights light with quick full body movements. Wednesday, cycle and core in the morning. Side note, come check out the class here. This class is awesome. Fantastic people and amazing energy. This is a sweaty, no joke cardio class with a focus on your core. I feel completely exhausted after this class and am happy to be done with my workout so early. Thursday, complete rest day. After three back-to-back-to-back -back -back workouts, my body needs a break and I listen to it. I plan it this way also because my shift is 10 to 6.30 usually and I enjoy sleeping in. Because I am more of a morning workout person, there's no way I will work out after 7. Friday. This is a fun but still heavy-ish lifting day. I use Fridays to try any new exercises or workouts I've seen recently because why not? I strongly believe in making your fitness fun and not so serious all the time. Saturday. This looks a lot like Sunday. Whether it's Saturday or Sunday, I always get outdoors, go climbing, or just rest. Sometimes it's a nice, easy walk around my neighborhood lake or filming fitness videos. How should you train? As you can see, we all train a little differently. One size does not fit all. We have different goals, limitations, backgrounds, and find different workouts to be fun and effective. You should ask yourself what your goals are and what you are really trying to take away from your workouts. One common thread you will see in our workouts though is variety. Whether it's playing sports, running, or lifting, we switch it up in an effort to keep exercise enjoyable and our joints and muscles moving in different ways. For example, if you want to lose weight, quick circuit or HIIT training mixed with lifting would be more efficient than steady state cardio, such as running. And obviously your diet plays a crucial role as well. However, if you enjoy running, run. Just make sure you know that you will not lose weight in the quickest way that you could. Enjoy what you do, but make sure the movements and exercises you are choosing produce the outcome you are looking for. Ask us for help if you aren't sure. We would be more than happy to make sure your workouts are aligning with your goals. Our advice to you. Be true to yourself and make sure that you are in command of your own life. In regards to training, you must be your own fitness advocate and push to get your fitness goals accomplished. Surround yourself with positive influences and reduce the negative ones that will take away from your chances for success. A quote I enjoy, the most important thing is this, to be able at any moment to sacrifice what you are for what you will become. Eric Thomas. Take one step at a time. Set small goals every day that lead you to achieving your big goals. Attitude is everything when it comes to achieving your fitness goals and being happy in life. Surround yourself with people that will lift you up, not bring you down. Also, make sure to have fun with it. Don't get down on yourself if you mess up and miss a workout or eat something unhealthy. Just remember to stay consistent and make exercise and healthy living a way of life. Find an activity you enjoy and stick to it. Whether it's a team sport like basketball, flag football, or soccer, or something entirely different like kayaking or hiking, find something. When you have a fun activity that you can look forward to, you're more likely to stick with it, and consistency is key in fitness. Even on the days where you're doing a workout that isn't necessarily your favorite, it somehow becomes more manageable because there is suddenly a reason you are doing it. 
It'll help you get better at your favorite activity and reach your goals. Stay positive. Focus on the things you did accomplish rather than the contrary. There are so many ways to be active, so find something you enjoy doing. If you're finding it hard to get started, try bringing a friend along to go for a walk or a run, take a group exercise class together, or try a fun workout. Use this time to take care of yourself, and no matter what type of activity you decide to engage in, be proud of the fact that you made time for you. Have fun. I cannot stress this enough. If the first thing someone says after leaving one of my classes or training sessions was, that was fun, then I know I'm doing something right. Life is already stressful enough, so don't get too bent out of shape about your workout routine. Finding something you actually enjoy can go a long way in keeping you consistent and sane. Work hard a lot and have fun always. Oh, and stay positive. If you cannot get your mind right, your body will not follow. Everyone goes through hard stuff, but don't let that hard stuff define you.